I'm gonna give you five of the best explosive ab exercises that you can utilize to improve your rotational abs, to improve your linear abs, and we're gonna start right now. So when we're talking about ab-based training, we've gotta think about how does this correlate over to sports. If we're a field hockey player, an ice hockey player, we need to have explosive trunk strength. And that explosive trunk strength might come from various movements like a snatch, like a clean, but it also might come from rotational, direct, isolated, rotational core work. So ab work that is going to be done in an explosive fashion from a rotating pattern or from an actual direct linear pattern. And when we're talking about training explosive core work, it is okay to recognize that a lot of this stuff is gonna be full body exercises, but some of these movements, it's okay to isolate our abs. Okay, so if we have the rotational aspect for field hockey, for ice hockey, and if we have rotational abs that are explosive for sports like shot put or discus, and then we can also learn how to utilize these rotational movements for other sports like football or, or soccer, anything where we're rotating while we're running. We can utilize all these movements to actually have better dynamic trunk control, which will then lead to better capability to cut, better capability of striking if we're playing ice hockey or even if we're a fighter. So all these exercises are gonna be important for improving various aspects behind sports performance. Okay, so the first exercise we're gonna do is gonna be a barbell explosive bicycle exercise. So I stole this when I was, you know, this 2008, 2009, working with some of the, some of the coaches, some of the athletes at the Poliquin Group in Rhode Island. This is going way back now. This is a movement that one of the ice hockey coaches had showed us. So it's hold this bar over your face, okay? And you're in, you're gonna try to get into this explosive bicycle position with a slower eccentric. Oh, yeah. Oof. Oh yeah. So the big factors there is that ice hockey tends to be always in hip flexion, forward chest lean, super dorsiflex ankles, and the knees are flexed. So a lot of that explosive work is gonna actually help with hip adduction while holding that explosive trunk. Okay, so that's how that's gonna carry over to other sports. It's gonna carry over to other sports who are, who are gonna be working through the drive phase and acceleration. Think about sprinters coming out of the blocks. That's where that explosive bicycle ab comes into play. Make sure you do an explosive movement with a slower eccentric to try and get into balancing that because it is challenging. Okay, second best explosive core exercise is gonna be a crow hop into a side med ball throw. Full disclosure, I basically program side med ball throws in every single thrower program that I create. Also, if I have somebody who's a fighter or a running back and they're trying to throw nasty stiff arms, we're gonna do a lot of side med ball work, okay, all the time. That might be reactive side med balls. That might be throw for distance side med ball throws. I love side med ball throws because they incorporate the hips from a rotational aspect and that explosive core work. And a lot of people will also, this is a little bit of an aside, a lot of people will, will say like, oh, well, the, the abs are slower twitch. Just because they're slower twitch doesn't mean we shouldn't train them rapidly. We can train them in both ranges. And some elite strength coaches might even say, hey, what about in college when you would vomit everywhere because you drank too much, your abs would be sore the next day. That's a, a fight in favor of explosive work for side med balls or for ab work. Maybe I should stop talking about drinking. Anyway, so if I go with a crow hop, okay, I'm right-handed, so this is gonna be a little challenging to do it left-handed. We're doing it left-handed because it's gonna be a better shot for you guys. Is I wanna see here, boom, side med ball throw, okay? A little bit of a crossover plant, boom, into that. Crossover, so the whole point is that I want to have this deep rotation here and rotate. Now, I'm going to try and do it from this side. It won't look as cool of a shot, but I'm going here, okay, cross over and explode into that. And ideally, you would hit that five to seven reps each side. As you get more explosive from that weak side, your dominant side's actually get more explosive, and that's where you're gonna be able to apply serious force. And if you tend to be someone like an ice hockey player, or field hockey player, lacrosse player, or again, like I had mentioned, football player, and you rotate and you need to apply a lot of force, 
rotationally, this is gonna transfer really well onto the competitive field. Okay, so the next movement that we're gonna do for explosive core exercises for athletes is going to be a banded knee raise. Okay, so if we're thinking about our gut, our trunk, my jiggly gut, right? We wanna also think about what does that interact with? How is that going to, to incorporate other muscles in that region, right? So if we have our whole sheath here, our whole gut, we know that there's gonna be hip flexion, okay? So the stronger we are here, the more hip flexion or the more explosive hip work we can do. So think about if we're a sprinter, if I'm shuffling my knees versus picking my knees up, I'm gonna have a longer stride if I'm picking my knees higher, and that's gonna help me run faster over a long period of time. That's where this comes into play. This will directly correlate to speed, okay? Directly to speed, and even for someone that's like a thrower or an ice hockey player, it's gonna directly correlate to deceleration on that non-dominant side. So the way we set this up, we take our power elastic bands here, available at garagestrength.com. You can pick these up. This is our strength band. We're gonna wrap this around a dumbbell, okay? Now we've got our loops, right? Our sweet, sweet loops. And all we have to do is put that through, not like that. <laughs> as I'm struggling and you can see this, <laughs> is we're gonna put this through our, the top of our feet, okay? Right here, try not to hit this. That's gonna be our variation example. And now we're set up, we're gonna hang, okay? Make sure my pants don't fall down from my mic. And I wanna make sure I have tension established right away. Notice how I'm not letting my legs flail back. I wanna have tension forward and I'm gonna go, boom. Oh. Ooh. 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 So think about the foundation is actually gonna be in your hands and a little bit in your lats, in your shoulder girdle, okay? So you're squeezing a little bit there. That provides a good tension to our feet. Then we wanna raise the knees rapidly, keeping the feet forward, okay? Squeeze the top. Rapid muscular action, followed by a slower eccentric, okay? You can do this quickly if you want, but I recommend you just, foundation's here, set the shoulder girdle, knees forward, or, or shins forward. Oh. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna do five, 10 reps. If you don't have this, what I wanna show you is ideally, this doesn't fall off, it's a little heavy. It's about 25 pounds, same thing here. That's not as fast, but. Ooh. Now you can see that falling off because that is a little bit off balance. I would recommend, that's too heavy. That's 10 kilos. Use a five kilo plate, but if you have the power elastic, it's really easy once you get it set up. Keep that tension, drive those knees rapidly, squeeze in the gut, good solid eccentric to improve that mind-muscle connection. Okay, so another rapid core exercise. I've shared this movement in the past. We call these Dane's fast abs, okay? Force absorption. If we can absorb energy, we can reuse it more positively. And these flies are pissing me off because they're fast twitch and I can't catch them. So when we're here, all right, we're gonna go from three different angles. I wanna go pause and come back up. And then now we're gonna get into that rotational aspect where we're here, back up. Up, up, and then the other side. Oh, yeah. Oh, and so the whole goal with Dane's fast abs is to absorb that energy as well as we possibly can through our hips and through our trunk. We want to hold this isometric action here, okay? We will hold that and rapidly bring something to the trunk. So you can do this with a plate, kettlebell, anything. If you're hitting that from the linear uh, frontal area and you start to rotate side to side, it's really, really gonna help you apply a ton of force at high speeds from your abs. Okay, so another explosive unilateral movement is gonna be similar to the bicycle abs in the beginning, but we're gonna be using one arm at a time, okay? One arm with a kettlebell. Now, I prefer to do any type of V-up on a bench because it forces the athlete to get off of their lower back. A lot of the athletes who struggle with stability in their trunk, they'll do these V-ups where their, their lower back is down and they're just doing like this and they're never actually coming up on their butt, okay? When they start to come up on their butt, they'll spasm in their, in their abs. So we actually like forcing our athletes to do everything on the bench to force more muscular action 
from the gut. Okay, so that's key. What I want to see here, so I'm holding here, I want to come up, explode, explode. And ideally, as you get more coordinated with this, you can rotate elbow to the knee. So you'll do five, seven on the right side. Got to fix my Fitbit here, go five to seven on the left side. So I'm going, boom. I'm not as coordinated. Okay, so the whole point here is we're gonna see left to the right knee, left elbow, right knee, fast, boom. Okay, come together quickly. It's gonna take you two or three sets to feel that out, to get up on your glutes, to make sure that you're actually contracting really well through the trunk and you're exploding. Be patient with this. I would start with like a 10 or 15 pound dumbbell and then work up to a 25. And as you get better and better and better, you're gonna be able to work through the positions more rapidly and you're gonna feel that nice ab contraction and that's gonna help you be more explosive. So if you need help with your training, with your trunk training, with your ab training, click on the link down below, head over to garagetrunk.com, pick up our ab slower fest program so that your abs can get completely slaughtered. If you want more content around trunk-based training, click on this card right here. Until next time, guys, peace.